Hello and welcome everybody. According to the Islamic belief, when you die as a Muslim, God promise you a virgin's maiden in the paradise. And the number of the maidens Allah is going to make for you is dependent on the degree that you reach in the paradise. He stated in the chapter 5972, there will be maidens with the gorgeous eyes reserved in the pavilion. Chapter 5574, he stated as well, no human or jinn, jinn is another creature that nobody see has ever touched these maidens before. As for example, the people who fight for the cause of Allah and die, he promised them 72 virgin, while some other Muslim can get only one or two depending on their degree on belief. Why do you need to have too many maidens in the paradise in the first place? Some Muslim will come and tell me, no, you don't know, a person need diversity. And because Allah's generosity, justice and wisdom, he gave us so many maidens that if someone does not like one or two of them, he can still be happy because he has other to keep him entertained. But this means that you can feel bored in the paradise. We talked first about diversity in the virgin maiden. These maidens that God made is an image of a woman that you can get bored of, especially when they don't have traits like human being do and to have too many of these robots mean that god knows that human will get bored of using them because if they aren't like what we describe then one of them is enough if god makes them the way that you cannot get bored of them or he makes them renewable and have the ability to change according to the person that she is with doesn't god he have a magic wand to make these maidens as soon as you have sex with them they will change according to your desire why do i need 70 tenants and each tenant have one version and 70 servant and you have to go around them all only one is enough if she can be varied and changed for example why do i need to have this many maidens is this not an excess in the use of resources it looked to me like just a waste of energy and resources. Secondly, let's talk about traits and the character of these maidens. Do these maidens have traits and characteristics like human being? Meaning, is it possible to speak with her and open a subject and have her opinion and it does not necessarily have to agree with your opinion? Or is it possible to chat with her the same way as you do with a fellow human being? Can you flirt with her and she respond to you? Can she feel shy or even can she pick a fight with you? If nothing of these traits and character exists in this maiden that Allah created, then they are just a robot programmed to open their legs to you and nothing else. In chapter 56 verse 35 to 37, the writer of the Quran said, Indeed, we will have perfectly created their mates, making them virgin, loving, and of equal age. If only they were a program to open their legs, for you to have their hymen pierced. I don't understand what is the pleasure if you have a 76 robot. The pleasure you get with women is not just a physical contact, but rather with a human being you can have a laugh and a good time and even sometime the ability to disagree with you and fight with you if it is necessary. That is what makes a relationship more vibrant. Some people may want to fight with this man as they do with their human partners for no reason. You might just one day come to your tenant and tell your maiden why is this here and why are you wearing this and not that. I don't know the beauty standard that God rely on to make these maidens. Does God like this maiden hairy or shaved? Do you have a right as a Muslim who entered the paradise to shave the hair of these maidens? But we know for sure Allah likes the boobs to be medium sized and pointed. As he stated in chapter 78 verse 33, and the full bosom maidens of equal age.
If Allah make them that the hair does not grow on them, do you have a right to change that and make them grow their hair? Imagine Allah giving you one maiden and you don't like it. What are you going to do in this case? Do you have a right to return it back? Is this maiden going to love you the same way as your human partner? Is this love from her character and traits or she is just programmed to love you regardless of who you are? If not, then they are the same as the Loras in TV show series The Westworld. They program to flirt with you all the time and it will come a day when you are not in the mood and they will keep flirting with you and you just saying to yourself all of this what the fuck this robot wants from me i'm going to tell you who will fall into the pranks of allah here because all of you understand this wrongly you think who is going to paradise he going to enjoy the virgin maidens the women of this life are less important in the paradise the women of this life in the beginning won't be desired the muslim woman that enter into the paradise in the beginning their partner won't spend many time with them and they will be forgotten by their husbands because they are busy trying this sex robot the prophet said in an authentic narration in sahih al-bukhari and if a woman from the people of the paradise looked at the people of the earth she will light what is between them and a wind will fill it and the veil on her head that is better than the world and everything in it but with the passage of time especially when we know that in paradise there is no death the women of this life will be more important and valuable because the sex robot you have you will get bored of them sooner or later then you start to yearn for the mate that fight with you the one that is shouting at you and arguing with you all time and nostalgia will take you to the past and you become to wish for the woman of this life here who is going to take a hit is the one who didn't get married in this life so my fellow muslim please take my advice and at least make one halima or aisha as a backup as you don't want to get into this situation after life because there it is impossible to produce another halima or aisha for you here there will be no divine justice and some will have more than the other as you can can imagine Muhammad and Abdullah going to have three or four women from this life but Michael here only have this sex robot because he does not have a chance to get married in this life so his friend will make a joke on him and laugh at him because he missing on and only have sex robots that are just devices his friend Muhammad or Abdullah will told him yesterday we had a fight with Aisha and we end up having a great night here michelle will feel jealous and he will invade him so he will go to allah and tell him oh majesty please can i have a woman like the woman of the earth god will tell him this is not possible logically or scientifically i love to help you but technically it is impossible do you want me to make the creation again in order to send you back to the earth so you can get married this is impossible so he will turn back feeling unjust the lesson to be learned from all of this is that the clever muslim must make a woman as a backup if the islam turn to be true so at least he have someone to speak to in paradise in this case the opposite is true and the women have the same issue because the women that do not get married in this life what is she going to do in the paradise here they start looking for someone for her who did not get married and meet each other and god will marry them 
but there will be some female left out without a partner so in this case Allah is going to make a male version of this maiden for her as he said in chapter 43 verse 71 they will be whatever the soul desire and I delight in and you will be there forever it is impossible to be a single in paradise because God is determined to have a sex party this is the divine plan of Allah. He does not like just a spiritual journey so we can sit and enjoy peace. He is determined to have these show parties in paradise and in the hell so he won't feel bored after trillions of years. So in this case the women that have husband they will feel abandoned and unwanted but this woman who have this male version of maidens they will be more lucky to enjoy their sex life every day. For that reason the woman in the paradise will feel jealous about her and they will say look at her God make for her a man like a Leonardo DiCaprio because of course God is going to make this man as she desire but after time passes she will start to feel loneliness because the sex device that Allah make for her is just a robot and only do what she wanted him to do and she will grow tired of him because he lack human behavior and traits and the fact that she is in control of him so when she wanted to have pleasure she just opened her legs and start him and he is just programmed to do just what she told him this will make her tired of this process and want someone to speak to and have a chat or even argue with so what is going to happen after is when this woman meets outside with her friend in the paradise rivers she will tell her yesterday we have argument and a fight with my husband and we end it up with a great sex so she will feel jealous because this robot will never do things like human beings do so she will start complaining to Allah about this issue the conclusion of all of this is that this concept of maiden price after death in the paradise came when Islam started. We almost cannot find any other religion that promised human being of a sex maidens after life. Which make you wonder why exactly Muhammad was obsessed about sex and women. In fact this does not contradict the founder of Islam characteristic because he think that sex is something important in this life and after life but rather in fact sex is only important for reproduction but after life there is no need for this evolutionary feature in the human being so why do you need to eat and have sex after life thank you guys for watching and see you again